Golf's newest innovation meets one of its most storied and traditional courses as the Live Golf League moves on to the Greenbrier. You name them, they played here. Over more than 100 years, golf's greatest have visited this wonderful corner of West Virginia. Now present-day stars including Phil Mickelson, Dustin Johnson, Cameron Smith and Bubba Watson will be competing to add their names to the Roll of Honor at the Old White, which opened for play in 1914. The Greenbrier has been restored since it took a battering from local floods in 2016 and every care has been taken to retain the character of this historic course. With its tree-lined fairways and small, well-protected greens, this is a track to test the game and the character of every player, which makes it an ideal venue for the Live Golf League. Taylor Gooch provides solid value at Live Golf Greenbrier despite being tough to handicap. At plus 1.400 this week, he's a solid value. Taylor Gooch is one of those players who is tough to handicap. Looking at his record, he's one of those players who is tough to back with a lot of confidence. That is, until he wins. It's been feast or famine with Gooch who has those three victories this season. But, other than those wins, he has no top tens in the other six events he's played. Talk about a roller coaster season. We're going to back him this week despite the fact he's coming off a missed cut at the Open Championship. The first time he won in 2023, he came in not playing his best golf and promptly won two straight events. Then he went back to the mid-pack player for a couple of weeks before winning again, giving him three for the year. Now he's coming off a 22nd place finish in the last live event in London before his MC at the Open Championship. Next up is Cameron Tringale at plus 3000. For a while on the PGA Tour, Cameron Tringale was the best player to have never won a golf tournament. Well, even after leaving the PGA Tour for the Live Tour, he still hasn't won. But, he's getting closer. Over his last three events, he's finished 9th, 8th, and 8th. During the 2023 season, his worst finish has been 22nd and that was in the season opener. Since that time, he's had four top 10 finishes, including those last three in a row, and he's up to 12th in the live standings. Before making the move to live, he had 338 starts on the PGA Tour with four runner-up finishes as his best. In his PGA Tour starts, He's recorded 31 top 10 finishes so he does get in the hunt. Does he have the talent to win on this tour? Absolutely. Can he win this week? We think so with the solid play he's shown over the last three live events. Next up is Patrick Reed at plus 1400. Patrick Reed is the only one in the top 5 in the individual points race without a victory. And during this season, he's got a second, a third, a fourth, and a fifth on his resume. That second place finish came in the last event in London where he lost to Cameron Smith who birdied the 54th hole for the victory. We're wondering if that first live victory comes this week. Reed is coming off a T33 at the Open Championship so he's still in decent form. He won nine times on the PGA Tour, including the Masters, so he's comfortable being in the hunt on Sunday. Now he just needs to finish it off.